Hello there, I know you are preparing for the forthcoming WIEC SSC Mathematics Examination. It's going to be a great exam for you and I wish you the very best for your exams. Now one of those exams, one of those questions you are going to see in your forthcoming Mathematics Examination is the circuit geometry. If you are sitting for NACO, you are sitting for WIEC, you are sitting for GCE, you must see circuit geometry in the objective section of your video of your of your questions or the theory section now this is a wayek question and it has to do with circuit geometry now i'm going to give you a question i'm going to explain the whole theories of circuit geometry in one of my articles i'll be posting in my website if you have the access i want you to regularly check my website for articles like this now this question is a question on circuit geometry and we are going to use two theorems to solve this question I call them according to the number I listed them theorem 13 and theorem 14 and what does theorem 13 says the theorem 13 says the opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral are what are supplementary we will have a second a, 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 a cyclic quadrilateral that is a quadrilateral in a circle the opposite angles are always what supplementary which is always 180 and the second theorem we are going to use is theorem 14 and that theorem 14 says that the angle between the tangent to a circle and a chord is equal to the what the angle in the alternative segment now how do that uh, theory how will that theorem come in this is a tangent to this what to this circle and this tangent to this circle is what is has a chord and this is the word the chord of what that circle so that question says the angle between this tangent and this chord is always equal to is always equal to the angle of the word of the alternative uh, segment which is this word this angle you get to know more about these theorems as you check those articles i will be posting in my website now I want to look at how we follow these theorems to solve this question. The first theorem we are going to look at is to look at that theorem 14 we talk about. Following that theorem 14, you come to see that the question says in the diagram angle RTS, which is angle RTS, this is angle T is 28 degree, and angle VRM is what is 46 what is 46 degree. NQ is a tangent to the circle VR. S T U at the point of what R. They now ask you to find angle what? Angle V U what X. This is the angle you are asked to what to look for, which is represented with what? With S. Now, how do we find that angle using the circle theorems? Now, the first theorem we are going to dissect, and the reason why we are looking for this angle is because we want to know what this side is because if we get to know what this side is if we get to know what this side is then we can be able to find this because the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is what are supplementary now let's go we want to look at find the value of what angle srq which is this angle now remember theorem 14 we said the words theorem 14 say the angle between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle in the alternate word segment why now if we want to look at that we can now say that angle r 
C S is equal to what is equal to what angle what angle X R Q and that means that angle XRQ will be equal to what? 28 degree. What is the reason? The reason is that the angle in an alternate segment is equal to the angle between what? Between a chord and a, a tangent to a circle. Now, when you are answering a question like this, you must regularly write the reasons why you say this. That the alternate what? The alternate alternate the angle in an alternative segment angle in alternative segment is equal to what is equal to the what is equal to the angle between the what equal to, to angle between what between a uh, chord and what tangent of what tangent of a circle that's the point now having gotten that now we know that this angle is now what is now 28 watts degree now the question now is the question now is how can we find how can we find this other angle inside here for we to find this angle inside here we need to use a rule and what is that rule the sum of angles on a straight line everybody knows that that the sum of angles on a straight line we have our what 46 degree plus that angle let's take that angle to be y plus y degree plus what 28 is equal to what 180 reason the sum of angles on what on a straight what on the straight line so if we do this we are going to find the value of what of that angle now 46 plus this give us what 70 what 74 plus what y degree that will give us what 180 so our y will be equal to what 180 degree minus what minus 74 degree which will be equal to what that will give us what 106 what degree now we've seen now that our y is equal to what 106 degree that means we've finally known what this will be because the final uh, theorem we are going to use now is what the theorem 13 that says the opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral are what are supplementary that's that will tell us now that x the sum of the opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is what what is supplementary that is what that will give us what the sum of the what the opposite angles of a cyclic quad are what are supplementary so we see now this plus this is going to give us what 180 because the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary when you add them they will give you what 180 so we we'll have our x plus 108 106 will be equal to what 180 from here we can see now that our x is equal to what 180 minus what 106 having done this you will come to see finally that our x will be what 180 minus 106 our x will be equal to what 70 what 74 what 74 degree so you see that you see now that solving questions that involve circuit geometry is very very easy take note you are going to see a question like this and the best way to treat question on circuit geometry is to assimilate the theorem once you can come to understand the theory you can you can you can easily apply them whenever a question like this is uh, is given to you now expect that 
article I'm going to write on the whole theorem and the explanations and if you read them they are going to be very very interesting for you now look forward to seeing a question like this in your exams and practice a lot of questions like this let's look at another good question that you might most likely see in your exam because we'll be looking at reviews of difficult questions that appeared that usually appear in the second part of your theory uh, when it has to do with uh, exams like YEC, SSE and NECO. Look out for our videos.